Hey guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to Armored Warfare. So in yesterday's micro patch update, I talked about some of the possible changes with flags. So we're going to check those out now. But before that, as you see here, it is the International Day of Labor, May 1st. And so Armored Warfare has prepared some content for that. They're also selling content for that, which is kind of weird but I'll get into that later. Right now, you see they have the BMD2M skin, which is the skin that you saw in the flag news episode. You get the decal, and this is unique. Instead of paying like you had to for St. Patrick's Day for their green camouflage, and that, or not camouflage, but base paint, they're actually giving you a ruby red base paint free. You can use it on all vehicles, that kind of thing, which is fun now I do not own the BMD I don't think and um, let me see yeah it's this one I don't own it it's the tier 7 but if you do own it you can use the skin it's the same thing that they did with the defender skin for the tier 8 light tank I'm forgetting what it's called now There it is, the Dragoon 125. Um, a while ago, for Russia's military anniversary, they gave a free skin to that, so it'll work the same way. If you own the BMD, you get the skin. If you don't, it doesn't matter because it's free. However, they are selling a separate camouflage, just like they did for St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day, to go with all this content. It's designed to be put over the ruby red. It's a green and yellow camouflage and they are also selling decals which is kind of odd um for 83 cents american so if you really want some extra decals for labor day you can buy those now and the other weird thing which is what i was talking about a couple weeks ago when they announced they were selling the vt5 they are now selling the abrams egds which is a um, sorry about that. Which is a tier nine SPG AA that was an exclusive vehicle. You could only get it in loot crates. It was very limited. It came out during the same time as the I want to say Caribbean Crisis story mode is when they brought that back into the game as an exclusive vehicle. So if you have it and you paid a lot of money to get it, that's unfortunate. If you don't have it and want it. They are now just selling it, $65 American flat rate, and they are um, giving it to you for a price. And now we've seen this in what, games like War Thunder, Roll the Tanks, where they'll take previously exclusive vehicles that either didn't get as much in you know, player interest or they didn't sell as many loot crates for. And so now, just like with the VT5, they're selling them. And again, I think that is to preempt the Tier 9 French vehicle and future content that's coming into the next battle path which especially now that they're selling decals makes me wary it uh, that could pose a lot of problems in terms of just how they're going to continue to generate content based around how much they want to sell but all that aside you do get a free base paint you do get a free skin if you have the BMD so Hopefully that's the branch of the month for May, so you can get a discount if you don't own it, but not not too bad. Pretty cool gifts so far. And the only other thing I wanted to check was the banners to see if they're still behind the 9,000 gold paywall, and yeah, they are. So, I don't really know what changed about them. Yeah, they're the same size. Yeah, one's taller than the other one. I don't know. On my end, the flags look exactly the same, so... I don't really think they changed anything, which is like what I said. I'm not really sure what the changes they were planning on making. It, But it still costs 9,000 gold. Kind of ridiculous. Not really worth it. And I don't think I can preview the skin 
for the BMD without actually owning the vehicle, but let me try anyway. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I can't. Maybe. Nope. Oh, well, it's, you've seen it before. It's just a blue and red stripe skin with a sledgehammer flag on it. So I might grind for it and do another video to see if the flag is actually included in the skin. Or if I would have to pay the 9,000 gold to unlock that part of the skin, which would be really weird. So I will grind that out, see how that works, and probably make a follow-up video to this one. But for now, that's it. No changes with flags and International Labor Day content. So, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more news videos or any follow-up videos on this topic. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.